Hey YouTube Pipe community, thanks for joining me this evening. I know Curmudgeon usually gives an elbow shot. I got a knee shot for you tonight. I've got a my Adirondack chair out on the deck tonight and uh, I'm reclining and it's nice. Speaking of Curmudgeon, I think he just got uh, that dreaded uh, backdoor periscope procedure done. I hope he's all right. I had that a couple months, or actually last month, so getting to be that age, uh, had a couple of polyps removed, and uh, yeah, who knows, that could have saved my life, man, go get checked. Anyway, housekeeping, I am smoking my Mark Tinsky uh, Billiard that I showed, I think, in my last video, and I wanted to jump on and do a quick review, or first impression, really of Esoterica Tilbury. I picked this up in a trade from Steve, Smoking Cardboard. Thanks, Steve. Hopefully he enjoyed the, uh, the wood bridge I sent his way. I think I saw the video on that. Seemed like he liked it all right. Um, this is a Kind of a Virginia Burley, from what I understand. More Virginia than Burley. Um, of course, I went and watched Stuff and Things Bradley uh, review this. And so the bag note, I will say, is very fruity. Um, and I think Bradley, who was probably a better taster than I am. Got a whole bunch of fruit notes uh, when he was smoking it. I, I don't know. I guess I'm not as good of a taster, but I don't taste any of that. Although I try to convince myself sometimes that I'm tasting the things he says. Um, for me... What am I getting? I'm getting mostly bakery notes. Uh, I get a lot of, I guess the the most, the thing I taste the most is probably oatmeal. Which I guess that is in line with what Bradley said. He gets kind of, he got kind of a apple cinnamon, Quaker oats kind of note. I don't get the apple cinnamon I do get the oatmeal, um, and I pick up almost a, a pretzel note uh, to it as well. There's a, a teeny bit of hay. I guess you would expect that from a Virginia, but it's not as much as most Virginias I've smoked. It's, I think he said something similar. It's, it's mellow. It's kind of, um, simple without being boring. I do like it actually. I like it a lot. Um, my favorite blends are kind of Virginia forward blends that are, have a touch of, um, Perique and Burley. So kind of Weber per is, is probably my favorite combination. This doesn't have any Perique. There is almost a little spiciness. I couldn't put my finger on it. To me, I don't taste cinnamon or clove. Mostly just bakery notes, but very pleasant. I would, I would call this a very pleasant smoke. I'm glad I have it. I think I'm going to continue to smoke through it, and uh, which is fortunate because it's, I think, an 8-ounce bag, so half a pound. This is the maiden voyage for this pipe. I'm liking it. Mark Tinsky makes great pipes. I'm jumping on kind of late. I'm getting towards the heel, but I like to get my impressions. It takes a while for a blend to kind of sink in for me, so...
black crackle zippo highly recommend these i've got a you know your typical i think it's brushed and then i've got this one um, so anyway very pleasant blend if you get the chance um, you know they're hard to come by i only got it through a trade but I think more often than not, your best bet is uh, brick and mortar. So, a couple of other things. I, I, my plans fell through. I was actually supposed to get together with a buddy tonight for cigars. Uh, he was supposed to come over here. He's actually the missions pastor at our church. But uh, I guess some friends that were staying locally at a B Airbnb, the AC broke down, which is understandable. I mean, we've had... It's been a hundred degree weather for the last couple months, so so I guess they're staying with them tonight. So he couldn't come over, which is unfortunate. But cigars will still be here whenever he's ready. I picked up some nice padrones and some whiskey, so figured I'd make it a guy's night with him. I don't, I'm not a, a whiskey expert, but I got one that's supposed to be, not peated, but it's uh, supposed to be really extra charred, so it's got a smoky character, so I figured that would pair nicely with some cigars. I think it's somehow associated with Buffalo Trace. I think it's called Broken Saddle. So if you had that, let me know how it is. But yeah. Anyways, um, so in expectation of cigars, I picked up one of these. So this is like 10 bucks on Amazon in the States. Silicone. Uh, it's nice. You know, I don't smoke cigars often enough that I want to have a dedicated ceramic um, ashtray. And this is nice if I want to go over to somebody's place. I can toss this in a bag. Uh, it's not, I mean, it's, it's got some heft to it cause it's thick silicone. It's not flopping around. Um, but silicone from, you know, you, a lot of cooking utensils are silicone. It takes the heat. So yeah, so this is, like I said, 10 bucks, hard to beat that. Uh, I also, I used to have cutters back in the day for cigars and I don't know, we, I've moved and I got more into pipes, obviously. And I just, uh, I don't know where those went to. So um, I picked up this on eBay. I don't know if you can see that. So the top has kind of uh, your typical punch. Uh, I like to start there if I can. Uh, this has got a nice, I don't know if you can see that, it's got a nice lever there. Um, and then obviously it's got a hole through, so you punch something. If it sticks in there, you just knock this down and it should pop out the other side. And then you just squeeze it and it pops out spring loaded. And you've got. A V cut and your standard cut so very cool squeeze it all the way and it's back locked in place so uh, that was another eBay find I like that it's got some heft to it um, and so I've got a cutter so that's kind of cool Sorry, onion pause. And I picked up one more thing on eBay. I'm not a big knife guy, but I like having a knife. I've been carrying a Spyderco Tenacious. If you know anything about Spydercos, people kind of either love them or hate them. I love them, but it got to be a little bit heavy and a little bit big to fit in my pocket. Um, just the way they, they've got the, the cutout for your thumb to whatever. But I do like liner lock knives. So I like the Spider Co, but I wanted something a little bit smaller and a little bit more compact. Um, 
So the Spider Co sticks out a fair bit. That's probably 50% heavier than this. This is a Ontario Rat 2. I picked this up on eBay as well, used, but condition was, you know, like new. So I'm excited about that. This is just more comfortable to carry. Um, yeah, so I was excited. I got this for $17 on eBay. I've been seeing they go for sixteen, seventeen dollars. Hard to argue with that. Dollar for dollar, I mean, even new these go for like thirty-five. Hard to argue. I, I would argue as far as quality pocket knives go, this is dollar for dollar one of the best knives out there. Um, you know, it's not a bug out or something like that, a bench made knife, but it's also not that price. And if I had an expensive knife, I don't know if I could use it. Like, this I'll actually use because it's inexpensive. If I had a, an expensive knife, I don't know that I would actually use it. I keep talking. My pipe keeps going out. Anyway, I changed the serpentine belt on my car today. That was one of my projects. No more squealing. If you've ever had an older car, you know that that can happen. Even in, you know, I'm in Texas, it's pretty hot, but actually the old belt, I'm sure it's stretched, but the condition wasn't bad. Uh, it wasn't cracking or there wasn't any holes or anything. It just was squealing. I probably could have just tightened it up, but belts are cheap. I just got a new belt. installed it and no more squealing so that's nice i do have an exhaust leak that i'll have to i don't know it's where the muffler meets the exhaust manifold and there's a kind of a donut seal in two springs on either side that it's meant to flex a little bit um, but it's old my car's 16 years old and so I, I imagine there's not much of a seal there anymore. And I was living up north, so there's a lot of salt and snow and rust. I looked at the muffler. The muffler looks fine, but you can, it, it's loud. Um, it is clearly a, an exhaust leak, and I'm pretty sure that's it. So I might see if a buddy of mine has some wedges or you know uh, ramps i guess you call it because i'd have to get underneath there uh, and then you never know the rust and whatnot that that could be happening you know the whole battle basically is you're dealing with trying to get rusty bolts off with oil or you know penetrating oil or you know you might even have to take a a heat gun or a blowtorch or something to get them loose so we'll see anyways i did make it to the gun range with a buddy of mine last week had a good old time um, pistols and rifles we started off with the rifles I had to zero in my red dot, and I kind of figured out that I probably need a magnifier to go with that. He had a nice scope on his, um, and yeah, that was a, a ton of fun. And then we went to the pistol range. This was all outdoors. We went to an indoor place, but... And I had called the day before. I'm like, hey, I'm going to come in the morning. They're like, great. And then I got there and they were like having a class. I'm like, you couldn't have told me that? Like all the lanes were full. So we just went out to uh, a town called Bandera. It's kind of a cowboy town. There was an outdoor range. And um, yeah, we had a good old time. Uh, I got, you know, it was super sunny, but uh, it was a good time. So 
He's a big Ruger guy. I brought a Glock and a Sig and a bunch of different calibers. Everywhere from 380, 9, 45, and um, 10 millimeter. So it was a good time. Planted some freedom seeds, if you know what I mean. And uh, yeah. So, and actually that was two weekends ago. Last weekend I took the, my wife and I took the kids to a little water park, campground, cabin rental place and had a good time. So, you know, my pipe's going out. Anyways, I kept you guys long enough. Hope you're doing well. Uh, take care. God bless. And I'll talk to you guys again soon. Thanks for being my friends on the YouTube pipe community.